Hi hey guys, it's uh, Will here, back for another fight card this week. Um, from San Jose, California, it's a uh, Ben Henderson against the, Stri the Strike Force champion uh, Gilbert Melendez. Uh, Melendez, this is going to be his first UFC fight, so he's coming over and he's getting a title shot against Benson Henderson, who is um, defending his title once again. Um, last week, great fights, the Ultimate Fighter Tough uh, 17 finale. Um, we got a new tough. Tough winner in Kelvin Gastelum who who stopped um, the hype the hype train which was Uriah Hall <coughs> and won a, a decision um, which was much deserved. Um, great fight, a uh, great load of fights on Saturday night. Never got to see all of them. I've caught up through the week. Um, I was away out uh, and got very very um, pissed as they say uh, last uh, Saturday night. Caught up, um, some great fights. Loved the Zingano and Tate fight, um, but now we're on to the next week, and it's a uh, UFC on Fox, uh, which I say was headlined, which has been headlined by Benson Henderson and uh, Gilbert Melendez. Uh, so we're going to go all the way at the start of the card. A really good card, a lot of good fighters on it that which I like. We've got Clifford Starks against uh, Yul Romero. Um, this fight's not great. I'll be honest with you, Clifford Starks hasn't really been great since he's been in the UFC. Yul Romero, he was a, I think it was a Cuban Greco-Roman wrestling a silver medalist back at the Sydney Games in 2000. Fights out at, at Germany. Um, see, Clifford Starks, he's, I think he's coming down from light heavyweight from this fight. This should be a, a good fight for Clifford Starks um, to get back on the win trail. I think he lost last, last time out. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna go with Clifford Starks by a decision, easy decision. Uh, next up, we've got a uh, another strike force fighter, uh, and Roger Bowling against the uh, Anthony Injukwani. Bowling, um, I think he's best kind of known for his trilogy of fights with um, uh, who was it again? Bobby Volker, who was a uh, pretty unlucky against Patrick Cote um, not long ago. He lost his last fight to Tarek Safidin, so he's fought some of the best ones in the division there at 170. He's down at 155 for this. He's got 11 and 3 record, um, but this is a tough fight coming at the UFC against uh, Injikwani, who is um, well known, loves to strike, and is a really, really, really talented striker. He's also coming off a loss to uh, Rafael dos Anjos, um, beat John McDesi, lost to Danny Castillo, who. I really don't like fuck Danny Castillo, beat Andre winner as well. Um, so yeah, and lost to Barbosa in it, which was a great fight all the way back at UFC 128. Uh, this could be a, I think this is going to be a good fight for um, Injikwani. The both guys uh, like to kind of stand as well, so this could be a really really entertaining fight. I just like Injikwani um, in this fight. I think he's got he's got um, more tools on his feet. And I think he, he, he'll win this fight. I think he, he might win by a knockout and stoppage as well. Next up, we've got TJ Dillashaw against uh, Hugo Viana. Uh, this is a quick turnaround for Dillashaw, who shot, uh, who fought in Japan, I think it was, um, not long ago. Um, no, in fact, I was wrong. It was a uh, UFC 150 against Tamura, at which he won. He's on a three-fight win streak at the minute. As I told you in the last video, I did uh, mention in TJ Dillashaw, I'm a big fan. I like the Team Alpha Male guys. Um, Say so three fight win streaks. Win, wins over Wael Watson, uh, Vaughn Lee, and Issey Tamura. Uh, that was oh, about a month ago. So he's, he's, he's got a quick turnaround against uh, Hugo Viana here. I think he was on Tough. Um, tough Brazil. It was. Um, and he got beat over there. But he's, he's come into the UFC and he's got a couple of wins over uh, John Teixeira and uh, Ruben Duran, which was a great KO of. Um, Duran, um, he got he really got a good knockout there. But Dillashaw is, I think this is a really good fight for Dillashaw. I think he will take this to the ground, and I think he can submit to Viana, and I think he will do that. I think he'll do that in the second round. He'll he'll have a look in uh, the first round, see what he's like, maybe stand, throw a little bit, but eventually he's going to clinch, and he is going to take um, Viana down. I think he'll get a submission victory here. So I'm going to go by T.G. Dillashaw submission. Um, Triangle, no, no triangle choke. Anaconda choke, second round. Uh, next up, we've got Tim Means against uh, Jorge uh, Masvidal. 
this I like the look of this fight. I really do. I'm a big. Uh, I like watching Masvidal fight, but I like um, Tim Means as well. He's got a couple of wins in the UFC. He's 18-3-1. Wins over uh, Mahalis and uh, Salas. But this is a bigger fight and a better opposition now against uh, Masvidal, who's um, who's been fighting a long time. He's fought a lot of big fighters um, throughout his MMA career. He's coming off a win over um, Justin Wilcox by decision. But he fought Gilbert Melendez. He fought KJ Noons. Uh, Paul Daly so he's fought a lot of really really decent fighters uh, out in the, his MMA career just having a look at his record he, beat Rodrigo, he lost to Rodrigo Dam um, beat Eve Edwards so he's been, he's been around for quite a while he beat Joe Lozon as well um, lost to a Sun Tzu, half a Sun Tzu. so he's fought a lot of really good fighters um, I like this is a tough fight for me to call um, I think I like means but I'm not sure this could go either way um it might be one of these flip a coin ones but in the meantime I'm going to go for Tim Means uh, by decision I think it's going to be a really close fight next up we've got the flyweights Joseph Benavidez against uh, Darren uh, Yuen Yoyama jo Benavidez he wins his fight he gets an another title shot I think it's it's he wanted another fight so he could go back in there and um, get a title shot against Demetrius Don uh, Johnson he last beat Ian McCall at UFC 156 in February um, and looked very, very good in doing it, but it was a very close fight. And before that, he lost to Demetrius Johnson at UFC 152 for the for the flyweight title. Um, but we all know he's got really, really big power. He was knocking people up out up at bantamweight. Um, and then he knocked out Yurushitani in, uh, in the first uh, fight for the flyweights. But he's knocked out big, big guys and he's beat big guys. He's beat Eddie Wineland, who's fighting for the title. Um, he lost, I think he's only lost up to Dominic Cruz. Yeah, only to Dominic Cruz. Now that's saying something. Dominic Cruz is one of the best in the sport. Um, so I think this is a good fight for him. Junior Yama is um, he's a good fighter, but I don't think he's in the same, nowhere near the same level as uh, Joseph Benavidez. He's coming off two wins over uh, Kid Yamamoto and Phil Harris, eight and three record. But I think this is um, Benavidez fight, and then we're we'll going to see him have a second fight with uh, Demetrius Johnson for the flyweight title again. Uh, next up, we've got Ramsey Nidjum against Miles Jury. Both ex tough fighters, like both fighters. Miles Jury looked immense in his last fight. Uh, Nidjum's always kind of scrappy and hard to fight. I just like Miles Jury in this fight. I think he's going to get. Um, he's just going to dominate wherever this goes and I think he'll, he'll, he'll win, he could win any in any way but uh, I think, because Nijum's quite a scrappy guy um, this will go to decision and Jury will get another decision next up we've got um, Francis Carmon against Lawrence Larkin Lawrence Larkin coming over from Strike Force um, really talented fighter and I th people have been kind of talking about Carmon a little bit boring um, but I like Carmon he's coming off um, I like L uh, Larkin, sorry He's um, fought some good fighters as well. He's um, beat Robbie uh, Robbie Lawler, uh, and he's, he's he's I just really like watching him. He's a good fighter to watch, um, as well. So I'm going to go with him. I think uh, over Carmon, who's on a, he's on a win streak in the UFC. He's a uh, he beat Kamosi, he beat uh, Salem Blad, Bumola, and Tom Lawler, um, in his last four in in the UFC, um. I just think Larkin's going to win this fight. I think he's got... Uh, there's just something about Larkin that's jumping out and saying he's going to win this fight for me, and I think he will. Um, how he's going to do it, I don't know. Um, probably by decision, but I'm going to go with uh, Lawrence Larkin by decision. Split decision. Uh, next up, we've got um, Chad Money Mendes against Darren Elkins. This is a quick turnaround for Elkins. He's um, taking the place of Clay Guida, who, was, uh, who got injured. I was looking forward to that fight because I thought we'd maybe see a little bit of the old Clay Guida because he couldn't really run a, run run away from Mendes and maybe he wouldn't take him down and he'd maybe try and initiate a little bit more. But um, Chad Mendes, his only loss in his career is to um, Josie Aldo and that was at me at the end of the first round in their fight um, at UFC um, 140, 142. Yeah, UFC 142. Won his last two fights against uh, McKenzie and Meza. Um, by KO now so I think this is going to be quite a 
we know Elkins, he, he, he looked really good in his last fight against Cavalli, knocked him out. I think it, I thought it, 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 the stoppage was a bit premature. Um, but he, he came out and he was swinging, which was different because he's usually a decision fighter. He did that in his last three fights in the UFC, four fights, sorry, in the UFC. So he's on a, a really, really good run at the minute. A five fight win streak and he's got a big fight here against um, Chad Mendes but I think Mendes is just going to knock him out I think he's going to stop him um, but who knows next up we've got Matt Brown against Jordan Mayen uh, Matt Brown is who was supposed to be against Dan Harder but he got pulled um, this is a tough fight for Matt Brown um, Jordan Mayen in his last fight against Dan Miller looked like a fucking beast um, he got caught and I think it was an armbar um, and he just rolled around and he got out and after that he just tore Dan Miller's fucking face off um, and I think he'll do the same here I just think he's going to manhandle Matt Brown even though he's a really really scrappy and tough fighter um, but Jordan Main I think is for real I think this guy's going to be a, a force at welterweight um, so I'm going to go by Jordan Main I think he's going to knock him out, uh, Matt Brown out uh, and move on onward and upwards and the guy just he looks amazing and he's only a kid who's um, still learning so the sky's the limit for this guy but Jordan Main by a knockout uh, first round um, Nate Diaz against Josh Thompson now I'm really looking forward to this fight big D I, I love Nate Diaz um, not the biggest Nick Diaz fan but Nate Diaz I like watching um, a little bit more a kind of classier dude than, uh, than Nick if you ask me um, kind of he'll give a little bit more Back to to his fans probably the Nick would so um you see he's coming off a loss he was fighting for the title against Benson Henderson and he just got dominated which we've seen in the past it was the same with Rory McDonald when he went up to welterweight he got dominated but there is times when when he comes to fight when he when he's got the right head on he comes and he is amazing his two fights against um, Donald Cerrone and Jim Miller were just he looked un he looked untouchable. Especially against Cerrone, everything he threw landed on Cerrone. Uh, I'm sorry, I should I should really put Takanori Gomi in that. His, his other fight before that, he just he couldn't be touched. Um, Josh Thompson, he's a, a veteran of the sport. He has been around for years, um, and he's fought every. He's fought all the good fighters. He, he's got classics with uh, Gilbert Melendez. Um, he's fought KG Nunes, uh, Calvacante, Pat Healy. He's beat him. Um, He's beat Melendez in the past as well, but he, he's got some great fights uh, in there. He beat Bang Lugwood, uh, Dwayne Bang Lugwood, Lugwood even, uh, in that, in the earlier on in his career. But he's a, he's a guy who's fought um, a lot of really good fighters. Um, but I think Nate Diaz is going to be a bit... Oh, it's, it's another tough fight to call, but I like Nate Diaz in this fight. Uh, not by much. I think he'll get a decision win, but um, it could easily go to Josh Thompson. Um, as well. Uh, next up, uh, the co main event Frank Mir against Daniel Cormie. Now, Frank Mir, we all know he's a former UFC champion. You, do, you go to the ground with this guy, um, you're going to get submitted. Look what he did to Big Nog, it's Tim Sylvia. He snaps limbs um, and he just needs a split second like he did against Brock Lesnar. He, he catches something, you're going to tap. Um, but he's against Daniel Cormie, who is one of the best wrestlers, probably in MMA, if not the best wrestler in MMA. Um, went to the Olympic, uh, the Olympics, I think, and represented there. Um, and the guy's got knockout power as well. So this is going to be, a, I think this could be a tough fight for Frank Mir. But for the last two weeks, I've had a feeling for Frank Mir by his submission. I don't know why, because I think Cormie is just really, really, he's, he looks unstoppable at the minute. Um and I was thinking maybe he might knock out Frank Mir here, but for some reason Frank Mir keeps popping in my head. Winning this weekend, and it's it's a a thought that I don't it just won't go away. So I'm I'm flipping a coin in this one, and it I'm going to go for Cormie just by decision. Uh, nothing much, nothing much more than that. He's been training at Mir's been training at Jackson's MMA, and I think he will make improvements down there. So um, tough fight, Cormie just for me. And then on the main event, it's uh, Benson Henderson against Gilbert Melendez. Uh, Henderson, he's, since he's coming to the UFC, he's looked great. He he won the title, beat Frank Edgar. He's beat Nate Diaz. He's uh, just whoever that's been put in front of him, he's beat. Um, 
so he's got a really tough fight here against Del Nino and uh, Gilbert Melendez. A really, a really, really tough fighter. Uh, former strike force lightweight champ. He um, his last three or four wins, he beat Josh Thompson, Masvidal, Kawajiri, Aoki, Josh Thompson again, um, Ishida, Dam. He lost to Thompson, so he's 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 fought really really good fighters, but this this is his his first fight in the big league here in the UFC. Uh, and a really tough fight against Benson Henderson. This is going to be close. I can see either man winning in this as well. I can see, I can see Melendez winning, but I think Gilbert um, Benson Henderson is just going to be a little bit too good everywhere. I would not be surprised if Gilbert Melendez beats Benson Henderson, um, but I'm going to go with Benson Henderson by unanimous decision. So enjoy the fights this weekend. I'll be back next week for UFC 157. Um, Team Jones, I'm repping this here. Um, John Jones is back, and if anybody knows me, I'm a massive John Jones fan, so um, I'll be back next week when he's against the American gangster Chael Sonnen, who I love as well, I think he's um, great for the sport, um, so hit me up on Twitter, Big Bilber 7 mma um, let me know your predictions as well, uh, come and chat to me about MMA, anything at all, um, and I'll be back next week for a, a preview of UFC 159 from a New Jersey, I think it is, uh, this um this time so yeah come back um next week watch the video give me some feedback as well uh, enjoy the fights take care and i'll see you soon thank you